Have you heard about the glymphatic system? Probably not because it's only recently been discovered in the last 10 years. And the research is showing how critically important it is for our brain health as we age. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about, explain what the glymphatic system is and what you can do to support this system to prevent a lot of these age-related conditions, things like Alzheimer's disease and dementias, general memory uh, condition, potentially like Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, brain fog, even migraine headaches can be associated with sleep issues and insomnia, uh, and even in children, actually, things like attention deficit disorder. So anything where your brain is affected, this glymphatic system is involved. So what is it? Well, we have a system in our body called the lymphatic system, which you've probably heard about, which is involved for our immunity and cleansing our blood. But the glymphatic system is a system that relies on your cerebral spinal fluid and it circulates through the brain and cleanses the brain. And this uh, activity, interestingly enough, only occurs when we're sleeping. And this is the really interesting thing. And what they're showing is if you're not sleeping well and you're not getting into these deep sleep cycles, this glymphatic system doesn't engage properly. And that then allows for these uh, amyloid uh, plaques to form in the brain, which are associated with dementia and slow the brain um, activities. So it's really, really fascinating. And there's a lot of research going into it at the moment on how we can improve this glymphatic function. So... Obviously, sleep is critically important in that. And But sleep is not just a single process. There's many things that go into improving our sleep function. And one thing that I always say is sleep is not about what you do an hour before bed. It's what you do through the whole day that impacts on your sleep health. So uh, avoiding stimulants, managing your stress levels, exercising the foods that we eat, uh, staying off screens a couple of hours before bed, limiting sugar before bed. There's so many things. And I've got a lot of information on sleep as well that you can have a look into to improve your sleep hygiene. But there's some other things that are really, really important for this glymphatic system to engage. Things like exercise, for example. Exercise is really, really important to one, to allow us to sleep properly but sleep reduces the levels of inflammation. Now, inflammation is associated with lymphatic function as well. And if you've got chronically elevated levels of inflammation, then this has been linked to poor lymphatic function as well. So many, many people have elevated levels of inflammation. So it's really important to manage that long-term. You do that with lots of different things. Diet is really important, but exercise, as I mentioned. Diet is really, really important for the lymphatic system. So we see that a diet that is more rich in plants, so plant predominant, so it doesn't have to be vegetarian, but plants contain a lot of these phytochemicals that are really important and antioxidant in action. And the more antioxidants that you have, the better the glymphatic function. And they're also shown that elevated levels of oxidation. So oxidation is basically rusting in our body then the glymphatic system doesn't work as well. So we've got inf elevated inflammation, elevated levels of oxidation, reduce this glymphatic function. So plant-based diet, also lots of good fats within our diet are really important. So fish, um, but plant-based uh, good oils, things like olive oil and uh, cold-pressed almond oil, avocado oil, different eating nuts and seeds are really, really important as well. Then... There's a range of different natural medicines that you can use as well to stimulate this glymphatic system, reduce these uh, physiological factors that uh, associate I talked about. So reducing the oxidation, reducing inflammation, and to help you sleeping as well. And funnily enough is when I developed this product called MSP, we developed it for our community because they weren't sleeping well and they had a lot of aches and pains and inflammation. But the ingredients in here work perfectly for stimulating the glymphatic system. So what we wanna do is reduce inflammation. So we have boswellia and turmeric, and both have been shown to reduce inflammation levels. So that's gonna improve the glymphatic system. Another ingredient in here with one of the primary ingredients is magnesium and magnesium has been shown to improve the glymphatic system as well. And then sleep, as we talked about, sleep is just critically important. If you're not getting into these deep sleep cycles, your glymphatic system's not going to engage. So there's lemon balm and glycine, two ingredients to just to 
allow you to slip into those deeper sleep cycles, which is really important because you may be getting eight hours sleep, but if you're not getting into these deep sleep cycles, then your body is not going to be getting into this uh, glymphatic stages where your, body, your brain is actually cleaning itself from repairing itself. And we know that these other hormones, our sleep hormones, things like melatonin, melatonin is actually a really potent antioxidant. So the melatonin that is secreted sends us into these deep sleep cycles, actually repairing the brain. So we've got to get into these deep sleep cycles. So you can use tools like MSP to get you into these deep sleep cycles so your brain can repair itself, can cleanse itself. And it's just so important. So if you've got chronic levels of high inflammation, you're not sleeping well, you've got high levels of oxidation, so you're not getting enough of these plant-based antioxidants into your system, then there's a very good chance that your lymphatic system's not engaging and your brain is building up these amyloid plaques. And it's not the sort of thing that um, it just occurs overnight. It happens over many, many, many years. So it's this is why obviously a healthy diet and lifestyle exercise is really, really important. But there's tools like MSP that you can use as an adjunct to a healthy diet and lifestyle to slow that process so that when we get into our 80s, we've still got our faculties, we can still relate to those around us and we can enjoy the rest of our life uh, in a way that's meaningful rather than having these age-related brain issues that can develop. So hope that's helpful. Uh, if you want to read more information on sleep, we've got a lot of information that you can. And if you've got any questions, let us know.